All right, so in this video, what we're going to do is just continue on the vector stuff, and I'm just going to show you how to uh, make something uh, a vector graphic, basically. So I'm just going to create new, and we're just going to do our typical resolution, the 6 by 9 by 300, and create. Yay. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to have you do, though, is uh, go on YouTube uh, or on Google, and then just type in, like, bottle. Okay. And then we'll just go uh, images. And I don't really care which bottle you choose. Choose whatever bottle makes you feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. Um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's one. Uh, try to get one that's kind of from straight ahead. I'm going to go mm, kind of like these ones because I like the weird bottoms. Okay, so I'm just going to take this. I'm just going to right click and I'm just going to copy the image. Go back to Photoshop and just hit Control V, or you can right click paste image. All right. Now, right off the bat, what we're going to do is I'm just going to Control T and I'm just going to make it bigger. Okay. So I might as well have it the whole size. We're going to make, pretend like we're making a poster for a new drink. Okay. Now, one thing I want you to recognize is this if I get in close, you can see that it's a little bit, it's not terrible because that wasn't a terrible resolution picture, but um, the resolution's a little bit. It's, it's, there's a little bit of like artifacting. So like you can see where the compression is and also it's a little bit pixelated, not terrible. This actually isn't bad at all, but we obviously made it bigger than what the original image was. And this is actually one of the strengths of using, um, uh, vectors because again, we can, we don't have to worry about scale. So I'm just going to use this as a guide to make my art. So with this selected, I'm just going to go ahead and lock it and then I'll make a new layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and draw the bottle part and then we'll draw the cap after. Okay. But I'm going to draw it like flat, even though there's a little bit of uh, perspective in this. I'm just going to not worry about that. So switch to the pen tool. Um, make sure you're on shape. Uh, no fill. So just click on that and choose no smoking. And the stroke, uh, you just want enough that you can see it. So let's like maybe try three here. What does that look like? Yeah, three is fine. I'm just going to do three. Um, and straight line, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do now is uh, just kind of make sure I'm close. Let's see. Can I get closer without and have a whole thing stuff? That good. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to worry about this top part. So um, hang on a second. The dog is super annoying me. Um, okay. It's not my dog. I have two other dogs. It's just this one dog just watching it for somebody, and she's terrible. All right. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead. I have the pen tool. You know, blah, blah, blah. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw. So um, start off with a straight, right? It's kind of a straight area. So I'm just going to click. Let's try that again. Click. Uh, and then it curves right here. So I'm just going to click and drag. Then um, there's kind of a bigger curve here. And then it kind of goes right there. So I'm going to put one in the middle here. And go like that. And then there's a little bit of a curve here. So I'm just going to click and drag a little. And then it's pretty much straight this whole way through. So I am going to just click here and then I'm going to do a click and a little bit of a curve like that. And then it has this like shape. I'm just going to use this as a guide, so I'm not going to actually follow it. So just watch me and then you can do yours. So I'm going to click and drag like this. 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 And I'm going to click and drag like this. And then more or less, I just want to do the same thing I did on this side, but on the other. Okay. So right here, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click and do a little bit. And then I'm just going to click in here. And then I'm going to click. I'm trying to go wherever the apex is. Generally speaking, the fewer the number of anchor points you create, the smoother it's going to be. So don't go too nuts. I'm sure yours probably looks terrible. Uh, unfortunately, you guys don't get to see everybody's. Uh, that's also in your class because trust me, it's usually hilarious because they're usually really bad. So um, it takes a bit of practice to get used to. So if yours looks anything like a bottle when you're done, then you've done well. And then we're going to click and drag and then I'm going to click. And then I just want to finish this, right? So I got a straight here, but it's curved here. So I'm just going to click and drag like that to kind of make that curve. And then I'm just going to click here. All right. And just so you can kind of see it, I should have... Um, unlock this. I'm going to take the transparency of this down so I can see my lines a little better and then I'll I'll lock it back up. Okay. So you see mine actually doesn't look that good. It was kind of dented here, right? So it didn't do as good of a job. This side is not so bad. 
Um, so I'm just going to go with my direct selection tool. Remember, it's underneath the path selection tool. And I'm just going to go over here and make sure I'm on the right layer. And I'm just going to adjust the points. So I'm going to take this guy and pull him out and go like that. And I'm looking at this, and this should actually be straight like that because I want to be straight here. Same thing here. This guy's got to pull out a little bit more, I think. So it's a little better curve there. Um, and then this, I'm going to use the arrow keys just to move it up a little. And let's see. That's a little better. It's not great, but you get the idea. So basically, I'm just going to draw um, those shapes there, and I get a rough-looking sort of bottle. Okay. Now, um, let's see. I did that. All right, so let's go ahead and just do the cap here. So to do the cap, it's kind of a square. So I'm just going to use a square and just add to it to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go to my rectangle tool, and it uh, should just be the same settings. Make sure, again, that it's shaped. And I'm going to click and drag like so, like that, okay? Now, that obviously is not quite right. It needs a couple of other things here. So um, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take um, my pen tool. And if I hover over, you can see it's going to add a point here. And um, I want to, I guess, add a point. I'm trying to think how I want to do that. Yeah, we'll add a point here too. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch from an A, which is going to bring up this tool, the direct selection tool. And I'm just going to um, hold shift and hit the up arrow once. And we'll do the same thing here, shift and then up arrow once. So basically if you hit the up arrow, like if you select a point, so I click and drag over a point, if you hit the arrows, you can move it, right, with your arrow keys. If you hold shift, it does larger increments. That's why I'm holding shift. Uh, it's not to constrain it or anything like that. Okay, um, and then this also has a, oh, I mean, this one doesn't have it necessarily, but there's usually a little bit of a lip here, so I'm going to go ahead and add that too. So I'm just going to go and make sure I'm on it, okay, and I'll just do it like this. We're going to just do the add anchor point to make sure it adds, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to get closer so I can see a little bit better, and I'm just going to click and click. So I'm going to add to and click and click. Come on. Good. And then we'll go back to my uh, direct selection tool. And I am going to grab these two points. And again, I'm just going to hold shift and hit that arrow. And say that's good. And then I'm going to grab this one and this direction. You can see it's a little bit too high. So I'm going to grab these and that looks a little bit better. All right. And we'll call that a cap. Right. Um, and then I just want to move it. So I'm just going to use my selection tool here. And I'm just going to move this down to a little bit over top of the other one. Okay. All right. So now we've got kind of the basic um, wire frame, if you will. We've got the lines drawn. But obviously it needs color. So let's go ahead. I like to use the lines because it's easier to see what you're drawing. And then afterwards, I'll just throw the fill on. So I'm going to click on the first shape. That's the bottle part. And I'm just going to, it doesn't really matter. You can grab the pen tool if you want, or you can grab the select tool. It should work either way. But have one of those two. You just need to have one of the vector tools selected. And then I'm just going to go ahead and change these. So it's whatever drink you want to make. I'm going to do this. So I'm going to click on this. And then um, let's go ahead and just do, I'm going to do like an orange color because I do orange for everything because I'm going to do a cone drink. And we'll hit OK. All right. Yay. Um, and then for the fill or the stroke, I'm just going to go ahead and do no stroke because it'll look better without it. And then the cap, we'll just do some select the cap. Is this still select them? Go to my stroke, turn that off. And then to the fill, I'm just going to go ahead and do like a really deep orange kind of color. I think that makes sense for what the drink is. Okay. Now, when you're looking at this, you might be like, oh, it doesn't look that great. And you would be right. So let's maybe try to uh, make some further adjustments to it. So I just want to add a gradient to this. Do this a couple different ways, but we're going to do it this way. So um, I'm going to click back on this shape. Um, make sure you have one of the vector tools. And you'll see one of the options was to do a vector. I just did solid color. Um, there's swatches, which you can click here. And then they have different RGB swatches here. Also, the, most, the last used colors was just super handy. Um, and then they have these different ones. I don't... I'm really not a big fan of this new setup here, but uh, then they have, and you can also click this to get the histogram, or they have patterns, which that I don't really 
that looks weird. So uh, it's just a picture that they put inside of it. It's not really beneficial. So we're going to go ahead and choose gradient. And then they have these basic ones, blues. I don't know why they have different colored ones. See, I don't like this new system at all. Um, just go to the basic and then just choose like, it doesn't really matter. Choose one of them. I'll choose this black and white one, right? Um, that's fine. And now we have a couple options. We have linear or radial, which will look like this. Um, angle, uh, refracted, reflected. Um, let's do reflected actually, because I think that'll give me the most that I want. And then this is just the angle of it. So I'm just going to go like this. So that way it's up and down. Um, you can also do it. Uh, where are you? It's underneath the fill tool. Oops. Right here. This gradient tool will also allow you to control it, but let's just do it this way. because I think it's a little bit easier. Okay. So I have that reflected. Uh, good. So it's two degrees, blah, 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 scale. That's all fine and dandy. Um, and now what I want to do is just adjust this. Okay. So to add a point, oh, actually to change the color, what I'm going to do is just double click on this. The top ones here, these two black ones, these represent opacity. So, uh, if I double click on, well, I'm already in this one. Um, uh, so if you select them, you can change the opacity. So I can have it go to transparent. So basically it means how transparent these colors are, but I'm going to leave them both hundred percent because I don't want to be able to see through it. Although, because there's nothing behind it, but you know, you might want that. I'm just not doing that this time. So I'm going to double click on this color and I want to do an orange drink. So I'm just going to go ahead and do kind of a deeper orange color. Let's see. It doesn't look very appetizing. Uh, I was going to do that. Um, and then on this one, I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to do uh, kind of a, a nicer, brighter color, maybe a little more orangey. Okay. And that looks acceptable. So now it's got it's got more dimension, right? It looks kind of because it would be a little bit darker in the center because the, the light would be thinner on the sides for the light to cut through, you know, minus the Fresnel effect. Um, so we'll call that good. Now let's go ahead and do the cap. So I'm gonna click on the, on the rectangle here. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and do gradient. We'll do the black and white one, and I'm just gonna go ahead and choose linear this time. And let's say the light's coming from the right side. So we're going to go like this. We're going to say it's coming from the right upper. It's not 100%, but we're just going to go with that. Okay, so we're going to say that, and then I just needed a cap, right? So I'm going to double click on this, and I think I was going to do like a deep, dark, reddish color. And then this side, we will do um, more of the orangey. Let's see. That looks fine. Okay, like that. Now, if I want to add a color or remove colors, you just click in here and then I can add another stop and double click on that. And you can also adjust uh, how it's whatever. If you don't like it, you just click and pull it off of it. And that's how it works. And you can also slide these guys too. So if I wanted less shadow, I keep accidentally doing that. If I wanted less shadow, um, I kind of push that. You know what I mean? But I think we're going to go ahead and do it like that. And call that good. All right, so now I got kind of those colors going. That looks acceptable, um, all right? Uh, but it's not much of a drink because it doesn't have a, a label, right? So it needs a label. So let's go ahead and do that. So to do that, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use this rectangle tool again because I just think that makes the most sense. Um, for the fill, I'm gonna leave it that color, and the stroke, we'll do no stroke too. Okay, so I'm just gonna basically draw a rectangle right where the label would go like that uh, but you see it's, it's straight so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use the um, add anchor point and I'm just going to put one in the center here and one in the center here I'm going to go to my direct selection tool so I can uh, grab those and then I'm just going to take this and go down I don't know like three I'm just holding shift as I click the down arrow All right that looks pretty okay um and this looks a little bit off too so i'm just gonna use it like that just to make sure that's tight to it and now it's got that all right now in here i could you know further try to draw a, a graphic so um i'm just gonna go ahead and use the pen tool and i'm just gonna randomly draw something um actually you know what why don't we use oh, i don't want to use the preform because it's just terrible uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and use uh the pen tool and i am going to just uh, do a solid color for my fill Oops. So here's the thing you have to, so you see how, like I'm trying to change the color before I draw, I'm on this layer. So it actually changes any of those layers on there. So you have to do is make a new layer and that way you're not on that layer. Otherwise, any changes you make, it's going to apply to this, which is 
probably not what you want. So uh, for my fill, I'm just going to use uh, a brighter orange color because I'm just going to draw my stupid cone guy. I'm sure you guys are probably getting sick of him now at this point. All right. And so I'm just going to draw the cone dude here. Like, okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll see how well this goes. Okay. So I'm going to, let's see, uh, click and drag a little, and then we'll just, um, I'm just going to do a cone, I think, and then we'll click, and then I'm going to, actually, not like that. I'm going to click and drag a little, and then we'll do a click, click and drag a little, and then I'm going to do a click, and I'm going to click and drag a little, and click, click and drag a little, click, and I'm going to click and drag up a little. I'm going to click and drag like that. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with that because I wasn't using anything underneath. I think that's pretty okay. So, um, and then I'm just going to, you know, maybe move this over a little. I think the whole, this whole side is going to bring it. Oops. So let's just, you know what, let's just do that. I'm going to click on this and just drag this to the right a little bit. And let's just drag this up and this guy up a little bit. And all right, I think that's acceptable. And then let's just get a line right here. So I'm just gonna go back to my pen tool. Where are you? Oh, there it is. And I'm gonna make a new layer. Every vector graphic has to be on a new layer. Um, and this time I'm gonna do no fill. And I'm just going to click and draw, click and drag, and then click and drag like that. Just so there's a little bit of something there. All right, so just add a little bit of a detail. Okay, good. So, um, all right, and I'm going to grab both of these, the line and that. Hit Control. -t. Oops. Did not close any pixels. What the heck are you talking about? This Control T. There it goes. I don't know. I'm just going to grab something else, and I'm just going to scale this down a little bit. All right, so you draw any kind of graphic that you want in there. Uh, I would highly suggest actually bringing a picture in and then tracing it. That's normally the way you want to go about doing it. I was just being lazy. Uh, in fact, actually, I think this, oops, not that one. This guy's got to go down a little. And I will say like that. Okay, so put a cone guy there. And now what I want to do is just, you know, um, put like text in here that's going to say, you know, cone or something. All right, so. Um, what I'm going to do is, I think I already showed some of these tool type tools anyway, so I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to select the type tool, and we're just going to type something in here, um, find a font that I think looks okay. I'm just going to use this one because I don't feel like looking through it, and we will stick with white because I think that will stick out, and I'm just going to click in here, um, and let me see, we're at what, 12? Let's try doing 48. Yeah, that's probably good. And then um, we're going to type in cone for the name of my drink. All right. And then I'm going to, oops, move tool. Uh, so now I got that there. And I'm going to hit control T to just make general. I'm going to hold shift as I do it so I can scale it. Make general adjustments. Now, one of the problems with this cone, though, is that it's not curved, right? The drink, right? So I can fix that pretty easily. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to double click on that layer. So now I have the text selected. You could also just um, switch to the text tool and just click and drag in there. And then I'm going to go up to this, click on that. And then I need to do the arch right here. So you see there's different ones. It's kind of like, uh, so you see this other arc, but notice that it's fanning it out. I don't want it fan. So I'm going to do this one and I need to go in the opposite direction this way. So that it more or less matches like that. And then we'll hit okay. Boom. Okay. Now that looks kind of not that great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an effects layer. I'm gonna go to effects. And let's go ahead and add a stroke. That way it'll draw a stroke around the outside of it. I think that will make it look a little bit cooler. Right? And then let's also just to help, because you see how this is a flat color. So it looks okay here, but then over here, like it's darker over here. So we can do a gradient overlay. So I'm gonna click on gradient overlay, and then um Let's, uh, that actually looks mostly right. The issue I'm having though is that it's, um, it's very subtle and actually it's got to go this direction. Yeah, we need to make that stronger. So I'm going to click on this. Oh, let me get basics. 
There we go. That's better. So I'm going to go like that. That's obviously too much, but I can take this opacity down and that will weaken it a little bit. And that way it'll blend a little bit better with what it is. And so we'll call that good. Um, yeah, that's fine. I think I don't really need any other stuff. And then I'm going to show you one more thing that I think might be kind of neat or handy. Um, and that's drawing on a path. So I'm, again, I'll make a new layer because I don't want to accidentally affect anything I have here. Um, and actually, I'm going to take my my cone here and B for the select tool. And I'm just going to move him down a little because I just want to make some some room. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to, we're going to say the line tool. And I am going to just draw a line straight across. Oops, control Z. Make sure I'm on this layer. I'm going to draw a line straight across. And then I'm going to go to my um, this tool. And I'm going to go to my convert anchor point tool. And I'm click and drag this like about there. Yeah, that's fine. Click and drag this like that. And I'm just trying, I want to get basically a nice arch. Okay, so it looks like that. And then what we're going to do is with the type tool selected, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to do Arial just because it's a real basic one. So we'll just do Arial regular. And I'll leave it white. And what will happen is with this selected, I want to show you. Okay, so I drew this shape. Now, if you look at my type tool, you can see if I click right now, it's just a box, right? Hopefully you can see my cursor. It's this right here. I'll just wiggle it for a second. It's in the middle right. Um, you see it's just a box. Now watch when I hover over this. It's going to see how it turns into this line. And then as I hover farther in, see how it turns into a circle? Basically what it does, I'll do this one first so you can see, is that now the text will fit inside. It doesn't warp to it. You can do that actually in Illustrator. It won't warp to it, but it will it will stay inside of whatever the shape is. Okay, that's obviously not that's not that great. Let's undo that. The other thing though, the one I do want to use is this. When you see the line, that means it's going to draw from there. So let's change this font to like twenty four. Is that good enough? That's too too big still. Let's do sixteen. Let's control A, and then we're going to say. Uh, it's still too big. Oh, I thought I swapped you. Okay, let's do 12. Okay, that's better. And we're just going to write taste the cone. Kind of like taste the rainbow, I guess. Actually, I got a better idea. We're going to do taste the traffic. Traffic. Okay. And that's fine. Now, I can change the size. I can do things like that. Another thing we can do, though. So, you see where it's starting? You might be like, oh, I don't have a lot of control over that, which is kind of lame, right? You actually do. So what you can do is go over here in this path selection tool. That will actually allow you to move this. So I can drag this to where I want it to be. Now, I actually could have just done this with that art tool, but I wanted to show you. So you could draw like a really convoluted shape. I could I could click on this cone and it will it will draw when I write. It will write all the way around the cone, which is kind of neat, okay? Now I'm just going to take this shape and just to make things easier, I'm going to take the opacity. Oops, take the opacity all the way down. So you don't even see it. So there's other ways of doing it too, but I, I like to have it there because if I do need to fix it, I can change it. So um, it's possible to draw like a path that you don't see, but I'd rather see it. You know, not one in the final product, but anyway, so then we got taste the cone. I'm just going to go ahead just to make this a little bit easier to see. I'm going to do a drop shadow on it. And let's see, I'll take the opacity all the way up and I want to do less I want to take the size down I don't really want it to be that crazy and I'll keep the angle up I think that's fine but let's do a little bit more distance like that hit okay okay then we'll control minus 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 um and that looks okay and I'm gonna do one last thing and then we'll call it good so I'm gonna turn this layer off I'm gonna grab what is this Oh, I wanted this layer off, not that one, sorry. I'm going to grab these two, so the cap and the bottle, and I'm going to duplicate them. I'm just going to hit Control-J, and I'm going to drag them underneath, if I can get it there. I'm going to drag them underneath those, and then with those selected, I'm going to go ahead and click on just any one of these tools. I'm going to take my fill and go Basics, and I want you to grab um, this black and white one. Okay, so that's going to make it black to white. And then um, on the white, 
uh, click on this, double click, and just make it black. So it's black to black. Let's do that first just to start with. Now, with them both still selected, basically what we did is we just made a pure black. I'm going to hit Control T, minus this up a little bit, and then I'm going to hold uh, Control right now. So I'm holding Control, and I'm going to click and drag this down like this so it looks like a shadow. I just, you probably get the idea. I like shadows. Um, and we'll go like, and then I could scale and stuff, but we're just going to say that's good. Now, with those still selected, I'm going to go to this fill. And we have it black to black, which is fine. But on this one, I'm going to change. I'm going to select this opacity. And we're just going to bring this back. And uh, go a whole lot. Yeah, like that. And then we need to change the angle, too, so that it's up like, like this. OK. And the cap actually is not working out that well. So I'm just going to throw that one away. We'll just pretend that you can kind of see it. Oh, and then on this one, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's see. Do we have a blur? I can't remember if there's a blur. There's inner glow. Let's No, not inner glow. There's outer glow. Let's, let's try doing outer glow on it. And then um, let's see opacity. And we're just going to make the glow this. That's not doing it. Okay, let's not do that. Let's instead, we'll just do a filter. I'm just going to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Uh, see, this is why I didn't want to do it. Convert to smart object, and then we'll just up the blur quite a bit. I wanted to keep it a vector just because, you know, but that's fine. Okay, and then you see, voila, we've got a, a bottle of stuff here. And we could do other things too. Like I could go on here, add another layer. This is where the freehand tool might be useful. Go to, um, you know, the free form and then do nothing for the line and then do white for the color. And then I could just draw, oops, draw like a highlight, you know what I mean? And then just again, um, you know, you could draw highlights and stuff, you know, and then draw shadows if you want to. But that gets me most of the way so you can kind of see, taste the trap pretty good. I think that should be a drink. Um, but hopefully you get an idea of how to work uh, vectors. Now, normally, obviously, it'd probably be a lot more complicated, but I think this is a good kind of starting point, just using a bottle. Um, make your own drink, see what you can do. And if you come with something really interesting or fun, just, you know, maybe send it to me. Because if I think it's cool, I'll like, I'll post it on the um, discussions or whatever, or maybe in the announcements, I'll, I'll show. Them. Okay. Um, but yeah, so good luck, guys. Have a wonderful week.